वेलकम यू वॉचिंग द स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप शो आई एम महिमा वाचर जानी वेल वन कंपनी दैट इज़ इन फोकस ऑन द स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप शो टुडे इज डॉलर इंडस्ट्रीज द कंपनी हैज़ रिकॉर्डेड इट्स हाईएस्ट रेवेन्यू इन 24-25 एंड एम्स टू ग्रो 50 परसेंट ग्रोथ इन द सदर्न इंडिया सेल्स इन एफ आई But to speak more about this, to give us more guidance as to how FI25 is shaping up, we have with us Mr. Vinod Kumar Gupta, Managing Director at Dollar Industries, who joins us now. Welcome to the show, sir. My first question to you is that you know uh, the total revenues in FI24 were up around 12 percent. So I want to understand that how much of this is volume growth and how much of this is value growth, and going forward in FI25, uh, do we see volume growth taking over the value growth? Good morning, Mahima. Uh, if you look at the numbers of 23-24, we had a, a volume growth of 23 percent, and uh, that was there. But then that could not materialize in in terms of vol uh, value uh, because there were some price cuts uh, which happened uh, during the year. And now, if you look at the uh, the growth rate which we have chalked out in our system for the current financial year, we hope to uh, achieve a minimum uh, volume growth of 10 to 11 percent. Every year, uh, and uh, aims to achieve a turnover of a two thousand crore by the end of uh, FY twenty six. Okay, understood. And um, you know, I want to understand that you plan to expand your um, EBOs, fifty EBOs in the southern side of India. Uh, by 2027, you've said you're open 50 new EBOs. But I want to understand that in FY25 overall, um, how many more EBOs overall in India are you planning to add, and what will that number in total look like? Uh, see, uh, we have just uh, uh, introduced Mahesh Babu as our brand ambassador in southern India. Uh, we had a press conference yesterday in Hyderabad. We introduced the uh, new commercial also with Mahesh Babu. So we have, of course, a plan 50 outlets to come up in southern India under this uh, Mahesh Babu's uh, leadership as a brand ambassador. And in totality, we hope to have a number of 125 stores in totality by the end of FY27. Understood. And uh, then, how will your margins look like then going forward? Aji, we have set an abita of 11 to 12 percent uh, uh, for the uh, current financial year. And of course, have to increase it by at least a uh, hundred basis point every year onward. Good. And uh, you know, I, I'll shift focus to your Lakshya project because uh, that seems to be your big focus at present. Um, what are the margins from this particular project? One thing, and um, you know, you're targeting that. 65 to 70 percent of your revenue will come from this project by FY26. So by FY26, then uh, I mean, what kind of um, numbers are you seeing in terms of top line and bottom line? I see. I uh, was just saying there is no, uh, especially uh, this Lux project which uh, we have uh, come out with. Uh, we have already uh, been launching and we are getting a good uh, return out of it. This particular project was launched not because of having a good. A margin or something else, but the prime motto was to uh, make our product reach to each and every corner of the uh, society and the range also. Uh, this, so to, to expand the range and reach, we have come out with this project launch, and we hope we are really doing on this project, uh, really doing good. And the numbers in terms of uh, the reach is increasing day by day. Right now, we have got more than one lakh fifty thousand outlets selling our. A dollar products, and we hope to expand it to. We 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 want want to make it double in three years time from now. Uh, got it. Um, you know, I also want to understand that in FY24, what was the like for like growth uh, for this particular Lakshya project? Uh, not exactly. The, uh, the the numbers are not right at uh, uh, before me right now. But this project, we are expanding into like uh, this for the current financial year. We have started uh, mapping uh, Madhya Pradesh. We have started mapping uh, Jharkhand. Two new states we have added to this project. And earlier to it, the entire South India was already mapped out, and we are doing uh, the uh, all amount of business in South India on project lunch only. And we have the, the Rajasthan, Gujarat, uh, Haryana, Odisha. These four states also we have done. Uh, this last project fully and uh, the results are coming out excellent 
Understood. And um, you know, you've said that you want to increase your contribution um, to your total revenue from the products which are more margin accretive. So uh, my question to you is, I want to understand which of these products are more margin accretive and if, if since you've guided a margin of 11%, what are the kind of margin levers that you're looking at? Uh, see, uh, in uh, 2020, when this uh, corona uh, uh, pandemic uh, was, uh, has, was started, we introduced at least a range of products into the market right at that point of time. Uh, we had a uh, good amount of uh, uh, dealers meet in Singapore where we launched this at least a range of product, and that is particular, that particular range is, of course, uh, uh, the margins are good into at least, uh, and the demand is also. Uh, uh, picking up because of uh, work from home culture that has come out after the uh, COVID pandemic. This, uh, this athleisure is doing good for us. Uh, we are uh, achieving uh, uh, good growth every year, uh, not less than 25%. And the margins are also very high as against the basic products. Now for the uh, la uh, lingerie, uh, lingerie we have come out uh, only two years back and uh, this lingerie section we are expanding into both in terms of production and the sales. Uh, there also the uh, margin is uh, good uh, as against the uh, basic products. So these two ranges, and uh, of course uh, this uh, raincoat business we had, we started only last year. That is also a, a product range where the uh, margin is really uh, better than the uh, other basic range of our products. So okay. these three ranges, the, the athletes, the lingerie, and the uh, raincoat business, that is going to add to our beta level. Uh, whatever uh, forecast, I mean, the, the, the future we are looking at. Got it. Um, you know, also, uh, when I was checking in terms of your um, uh, distribution system, I saw that e-commerce holds only 2%. Um, from what I understand that, you know, e-commerce going forward is going to be um, the stealing the show in terms of distribution. So, um, any strategies or plans to grow this um, e-commerce distribution going ahead, like where this percentage will go from from 2%? Uh, see, uh, we, have, uh, we have already uh, set up uh, an office in Bangalore for this increase in business of uh, uh, sale of the products through e-commerce platform. We have also uh, started uh, doing business with uh, uh, quick commerce as well. So we understand that by way of penetration better into the market and the, and the portals, we hope to grow it up to 5% by the end of three years. And, um, you know, in terms of um, the competition landscape, there are a lot of um, companies and stores that are giving you a tough competition. So what are your, um, you know, strategies in terms, you know, terms of beating this kind of competition? This competition is always there in the market, but then yeah, as you understand, what, uh, whatever level top line was there for the company three years or four years before, we are achieving each and every targets every year. And we are marching towards becoming the number one knitwear company of the uh, country. And maybe maybe in uh, two years of time, you will see that Dollar Industries Limited will become the number one knitwear company of this country. Understood. And, um, you know, uh, one more question in terms of geographical expansion. You said you're expanding in the south. But overall, in terms of the mix, in terms of geography, do you see any improvement trends? Um, where is your focus more towards? See, we, are, uh, we, we, we have already launched a, 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 an initiative called uh, Vision uh, South India. And uh, South India, we are only having an, uh, the total uh, contribution uh, of uh, South India into our top line is hardly 8%. So there is, uh, there is an area where we can really grow well. Uh, for that reason only, we have brought in Mahesh Babu as our brand ambassador. And uh, we have aimed to uh, take uh, this 8% to 20% in three years of time. And so the growth is, will really come out from South India where our penetration was, of course, uh, not up to the mark, not up to our satisfaction. Okay. And, um, you know, you said your focus is more towards premiumization. So going forward in FI25, FI26, how much contribution do you expect from the premium products as compared to the normal products that you have? Uh, right now, premium product segment uh, contributes to 42% of our uh, total revenue. And uh, we hope to uh, take it to close to 50% by the end of FI26. Uh, well, Mr. Vinod, thank you so much for giving us those insights. But it's time to slip into a short break. On the other side, we'll be joined by Satyan Mamtora, Managing Director at Transformers and Rectifiers. So do stay tuned.